Hello everyone, Navika here. Welcome to this next Let's Play Bankados episode. So, in the last episode we went against Giacomo. Of course we didn't get our revenge. We got kind of kicked off and now we're criminals in a whole little island. Wonderful. So now we are about to take off, but after yesterday's episode I did go get some more pow milk from Sebelrai. Because I know if you age pow milk, it turns into cheese and or yogurt yay so we're gonna wait on that i mean not right now but i don't even know why i got it then <laughs> i'm not gonna wait whatever um i'm gonna go to kuzman to go see what rewards he'll give me for the few family members i've already found for him let's see see here they are one two three four four people here already Hmm, I'm wondering where you should get started. I've already brought you some people. Reward me. Oh, I guess it has to be after a certain while. Let me after a certain amount. Like five at a time or something. Perhaps. I could always go check if that dude at the waterfall is already done with his exercises. Oh, wait. I saw something here earlier. <laughs> so he showed up at that house thanks to you it looks like he doesn't do anything rash to it look at my house this picture drawn by the best artist in town was ruined what's this <laughs> someone drew a mustache on it that's hilarious it's not the least bit amusing I'll never forgive that little <sighs> What a naughty kid. My husband's been home all day, but he didn't even notice. What a good-for-nothing man. That little brat really did a job to this painting. Only water is gentle enough to clean it up. Such a bother. My husband's so useless. I wonder if someone would be kind enough to fetch me some water. Oh, I don't have water. <laughs> I have cow milk. Great. Well, it's okay. We're gonna go to Nunki Valley right now. Um... To see if that guy who's working out is ready to to come see his whatever Kuzmin is to him before he passes away. Nunki Valley. Uh, I wish we didn't have to fight this guy. Go away. Ah! We can do this if we want. Oh, I have Shella now. Right. So it should be much much quicker. I wonder if that would even be enough. Ooh, yes. Oh no, it's not. Well, let's take a picture of it at least. Now. I wonder if this will even hurt it. Because it's a fire. Will it heal it? I don't know. Gosh darn it. Ow. Hey, what happened to the other guy? Wasn't there a second one? Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. Die. Dark flare. Dark flare. There you go. Good job, Shella. That was way too She's easy. She's very useful. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! All right. Okay, come on, dude. You have to be ready. You have to be ready to come on. Come on. Oopsies. Uh, family tree. Oh my god. Yes, I will have some. Oh, I gotta get rid of something. I'll get rid of the apple. Um. Oh, no. I'll get rid of this flower, I guess. No. Ah! I'll get rid of this apple then. I wish I had more blank magnets. All for that stupid lady. Well, I'm sure we'll get rewarded for it. Ah, uh, 
Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Come on, you don't have to be in the middle. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. So let's go give it to her. And what will our reward be? else I think has anything to say. No. Okay, so let's give it to her. Wait. Wasn't this lady, right? No. No, this is the wrong place. Hello? Okay. Here you go, madam. <laughs> Can't believe Palolo did that. That's so funny. Here, I got your water. Oh my! You brought me water! How nice of you. I guess I shouldn't have judged you by your appearance. Leaving so soon? Well, please take this with you. <gasps> oh, thank God we did it. Goodness. Do you have a reward for me for doing your job? Jerk. Yay, now we have a star map piece. That's wonderful. Wonder what Magnus will get with that. Should I go give it to him right now? Sure, let's see. The church! So we bring you celestial power. We only have one. I think so. Yes, Aquarius. Yes, of course. It's one of the big horoscope signs, so it's gonna be nice and pretty. Ooh, it looks so nice. Hey, what do we get? Green bananas. Nope, we're good. Thank you. Wonder if I can level up. Probably not. I mean, I only fought Giacomo and I didn't even kill him. You never know. Pray. Oh, yes! Sweet! Any levels help, man. Woo, both of them. Wonderful. More HP. And higher stats, I believe. Hell yeah. Okay, now we must leave because we are wanted criminals here in Sadal Sud. Right, lady? Yes, yes. Okay, let's get on out of here. Let's get. Let's get on the liner. Let's go. Bye, Sadal Sud. The Diadem Express Liner will be departing soon. All passengers must board. Let's hurry, Callus. There they are. Uh oh. Over here. Move. Can't take us on yourself, buddy boy. They found us. Let's go. Hurry. Hurry! Close the door! Close the door! Um, the liner is underway! <laughs> the liner is underway! Sorry! Oopsies! Ooh! Oh, look at all those different islands, the different nations. Diadem, land of the clouds. So cool. Ooh. Nashira, the fishing village. Catchy tune. Excuse me, where could I catch a ride to the Empire? The Empire? You'd need to make your way down to the castle town. There's a large port there. 
Nashira here is just a small village, as you can see. The only ships around here are merchant ships flying in and out from Furcad. I see. Thanks. I'm headed for the castle, too. I need to talk to the king. Which means we'll be traveling together a little longer. But Callus, before we set off, why don't we stop by the village? We might need a Magnus or two for the road. Yeah, good idea. Of course. I wasn't planning to just go to a whole new town. Can't wait to see what's going on here. If you want to go to the Empire, try going through the castle town. There's a big port there. This boat is going to the Sadal Sud Frontier. Would you like to board? It wouldn't be such a good idea to go back to Sadal Sud. Plus, I'm in a hurry. There's no time for going back. It's okay. Oh, is that a person there? Oh, yes, the one I just spoke to. <laughs> Welcome, travelers! This is Nashira, the fishing village. Looks like you came from Sadal Sud on the liner. You crossed the Empire, didn't you? <laughs> you don't need to hide it. A report came in from the dock saying, Be wary of travelers. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, we haven't had many travelers of late. Most of them are just here for transit. They usually head right to Shilak. Sheliac. As you can see, there aren't any tourist attractions here, but please make yourselves at home. We, the people of Nashida, have been fishing to sustain ourselves for as long as I can remember. Bringing in the day's catch, going home, eating what my wife makes for me. Day in, day out, same routine, different day. It may seem like a boring life to you, but for us, it's called peace. The people of Nashida are part of Diadem's mighty kingdom. I'll take the pride with me when I go fishing tomorrow, and it will be with me when I go home. But now we've been suffering poor catches, and come home with no fish and no pride. Look at this empty warehouse. Oh no. This beautiful white pottery is adorned with a red stripe. Woman with a bracelet. Hmm? I'm Kuzman's daughter, Maimon. My father is in critical condition. Okay, I'll go back to my hometown right away. So do I just sign the family tree? That is correct. Here you go. Yay! Someone who just did it. Why can't they all be like this? Oh, could you please tell my husband that I have to go to my hometown? Who is your husband? Is, is, this, is it this fellow here? No, I don't know who your husband is, lady. It's a beautiful white pot with an orange line. Oh! Hello, pine tree. That was unexpected. What's this? Can I look? There's a sinker on the roof rack. It must be used for fishing. We've been having poor catches lately. At this time of the season, schools of sea bream were supposed to have come down from the Lesso Celestial River in the Sea of Clouds already. If this keeps up, we're all gonna starve. Something's wrong this year. In all the time I've been a fisherman, nothing like this has ever happened. Something fishy is going on. Eh? 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 <laughs> These earthenware pots are filled with salty water. Salty water? Do we want salty water? Sure. It should be an exclamation and a question mark. Sure. We got it now. Oh! A fire yell level one. What is a fire yell? What is a fire yell, you say? Let's find out. Performs a fire best offensive, defense, and follow up to certain weapons, armor, spells, items. The previous Magnus in the combo needs to be fire-based for this Magnus to be available. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like too much trouble. This is salt made in the Shira. It's stored in bags and stacked up high. Oh, I can get salt. Sure, let's get salt. Oh. 
Oh. I don't even know when I want to go back to Sadal suits. I don't even know if I should keep the freaking... Eh, whatever. This place is a, a fish warehouse. When they catch fish, they store them here. But it's empty now. They're saying that nobody can catch fish anymore. What? Why? Hmm. Hello, travelers. This is your first time to Nashira. It's really peaceful and laid back here. Hope you enjoy your stay. Can you hear it? It's the sound of the clouds. It'd be so wonderful if I could fly through this sea of clouds with wings of the heart. Oh, so she doesn't have any wings? Ah. Love how everything looks. Love it. Look at that. Uh oh. His uniform. Do you think? Yeah. We can't say for sure from here, but it looks like an Imperial uniform. The boat nearby must be an Imperial issue, too. What are we gonna do? That's Lydia's sailboat, if you're wondering. Brand new Imperial model. Pretty cool, ain't it? This Liud of yours, is he from the Empire? Yep. He's pretty important, you know. An ambassador from the Empire. Awesome, huh? Mm. From the Empire, huh? I hope he's not looking for us. They couldn't be that quick. But we'd better be careful. Huh? You outlaws or something? Being chased by the Empire? Sorry? No. No way. What gave you that idea? <laughs> I wonder what, Callus. <laughs> it's just that we're not on very good terms with Imperial soldiers. Nothing serious. Hmm. Well, the girl behind us doesn't look like a bad person at all. Don't know about you, though. See ya. Uh, bye. Thank you. Let's go, Callus. Good thing. As long as we have Shella with us, we look like decent people. Listen, whether you like it or not, you'll eventually run into the ambassador. He usually hangs around in this village. I have no idea why he even likes this place. He never seems to go back to the embassy in Shiliak either. The ambassador isn't scary. Seriously, talk to him and you'll see he's a nice man. Well, yeah, to you. If you're thinking of going to Shiliak, try going through the cloud passage to the east of the village. But I heard it's been flooded over, so you might not be able to get through. If you get to Shiliak, there should be ships that can take you to the Empire. Hmm, so Shiliak is where we gotta go. The Lesser Celestial River has flooded and we can't catch fish. Oops, something groups? <laughs> and there is nothing we can do to make it better. How can things get any worse? Why do bad things always happen in groups? <laughs> there you go. The Sea of Clouds has been dead calm and we haven't been able to catch anything at all. Maybe the fish have their own reasons for not biting. So, you want to listen to an old man babble? Sure. You got a story, old man? Alright, listen up, youngins. The way I figure, the world, the fish, and us have been maintaining a good balance. But even though today is just the same as yesterday, and tomorrow will probably be the same as today, there's no guarantee that disaster won't befall us at any time. There's a whole world out there. You know what I mean? What happened today just happened. No one knows what will happen tomorrow. Things happen when they happened. Wouldn't you agree, my young friends? Goodness. No, no, no. We've heard enough. We've heard enough babble today. 
This is the port on the Shira, supposedly the most active part of the village, but the fish, the fish are gone, so it's been kind of quiet. So it seems. The ambassador is about to come here to do some maintenance on his sailboat. I think he might be out there right now. Well, when he first arrived to take his new post, we were concerned about whether or not he was an Imperial spy. One can't help but wonder, right? He's always coming here, so we thought he was checking this place out. But as I got to know him, I started to realize he's not like that at all. I don't know what the Empire's intentions are, but I'm sure his intentions are different. Hmm. Oh, what was that? It's a big container with some traces of rust. Oh! Fire burst! Level 2! Wonderful! Let's, uh, let's get it on here. Let's get it on. Wow! Hello! Hey, it's too calm. The sea of clouds looks much better when it's stormy. Fish flock to the surface when the rain is pouring and the wind is roaring. The sea stays calm like this. Fishermen like me won't be able to make a living. We fishermen are a superstitious lot. Many say strangers bring bad luck, and that's why we don't welcome them. So they may not think too highly of you. No offense, but just bad luck, you know? Everyone's having a poor catch, so they're pretty edgy around here. You better not wander around too much. Alright. I'll try, but I am... A wandering addict. Yes. What? If you have nothing to say, just go away. And make sure you don't touch my boat. Strangers always bring bad luck. It's been like that for ages. Letting you on my boat is totally out of the question. I don't even want you near it. Our catch is bad enough even without your bad luck. Your presence would only make it worse. No offense, but not now. Just go away. Go away. Fine. I don't want to go talk to him. Oh, shield! Hello, Holly for Shella. Oh no, it's for me, for Callus. Um, really, he's such a low defense. Bye bye. This is Sir Liam's boat. He said he came by boat because the river was flooded, so he couldn't come on foot. This boat is only for Sir Liud. It's only a one map boat, so he won't let me get on with him. Still, he promised me he'll go to the cloud passage with me when the river subsides. <laughs> I like Sir Liud, he's so kind. Hmm. Maybe he's different from the Empire. Who knows? What's in here? Oh, welcome to my shop. Thank you, thank you. Hope you don't mind me just chilling in your shop, resting my wings just for a couple seconds. And now I'll give you some money. Or more like, we'll sell you stuff. Shop, 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 shop. Sell all this crap. Mm, we don't need that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um. Oh, this picture here. A terrible picture. <laughs> ah, that's good. What can we buy? Oh. Oh, a silver buckle. Sure. What's this? Cures poison. Ooh. Why do I feel like we're gonna need those? Better get them just in case. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Honey. Oh, heal 80. Yes. Oh, look at all these goodies, man. Can I afford them all? That is the question. Yeah. Thank you. Knock, knock. What's going on up here? 
It's a soft bed that's just been cleaned and dried. Really? That's it? That's it? Alright. Wonderful. Good to know. I really needed to know that. An enormous fish hook. It's probably only used for decoration. Nah, it's where they, they put the children onto the hook. Come on, Callus. Looks like the water stored in this barrel has been used in the house for a couple of days now. Stagnant water. Nah, I don't even think we have space. Yeah, no, we're good. Looks like the water stored in this bat bat bat. Same thing. No, we're good. It's a wooden fish box painted with vermilion lacquer. It's worn, but still good. A star piece! Oh my gosh, that's so random! Corinna, ooh. Hurry! I want to hear your story! Whose story? My story? Hey, you should listen to this too. She's gonna tell a story. Oh, okay. Okay, she's gonna tell a story. Oh! <gasps> ooh, cutscene. Once long long ago when the world still had an ocean people did not have any wings they lived on the wide wide land the ocean was a huge pool so large and so deep that it would have swallowed this entire nation Within the ocean, an enormous fish called a whale would roam about freely. The whale was as old as the world itself. It was always singing mysterious, yet gentle, heartwarming songs. Where did the ocean go? What happened to the whale? An evil god appeared and swallowed the entire ocean. Every last drop of it. He swallowed the whale too. And it was never seen again. Remember this name. Never forget. The name of the god was Malpertio. Malpertio sucked up the entire ocean, but choked and drowned in the very water he swallowed. The whale, however, will always be with us. It lives on in our hearts. Close your eyes and listen. You can hear the whale's songs even today, the ocean will return someday. Until then, the whale will be waiting. Waiting patiently. That's all I can tell you now. Excuse me, I... Words can bring mischief. Confide not in those yet to be proven worthy of trust. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Spare us the fortune telling. I'd like to hear more about this evil god. About Mount Persio swallowing the ocean. It is but a tale, young one. I know little about it myself. Sheesh. We should head for the castle now. Hmm. She said Mount Persio. Ma'am, a story. It's just an old story. I don't know much about it. Well then, there you go. She doesn't know much about it. Shut up, Gallus. Even though she's obviously full of it. She's full of it. 
My mommy, my daddy, and my grandpa died a year ago. So I have to protect my grandma now. Don't you think I'm great? <laughs> That's so sad. How did they die? Bottles of expensive looking liquor are sitting on the hammock. Time flies. It already it's already been a year since I started living with him. When I went fishing with my husband, the weather turned treacherous and I lost my son and daughter-in-law. I thought about going after them, but I still had him. So I couldn't risk my life and leave him behind. Oh, that's so sad. Let's see what's up here. The bed looks clean, not a wrinkle in sight. Oh, wonderful. Feathered hat. That's probably for Shella. Um, what's in here? Dun, 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 dun. It's a net used for fishing. Loose ends have been retied together, making it very durable. Have you seen the ambassador already? He's a real gentleman. He's always he's also very kind. I wish he could stay longer. Hmm. A machine for spinning plant fiber into thread. It has been maintained very well. It's a well-used tool. The reel spun fiber and coils it into a bundle. There are several bottles of dye that are made from watered-down flowers. The colors look like they're made from the juice of the seed. It's, uh, it's a machine used for rolling up nets. A must for Nashira's fishermen. The dishes are in order. There's not a single speck of dust on them. It's a sign of the owner's anal personality. You know, young man, that fellow Liud is an imperial spy. Grandpa, what are you saying? Sir Liud is a great person. You say bad things about him just because he's from the Empire. Shut up, he's a spy. If spy is not the right word, then he's a secret agent. Or an informer. Ah, they're all the same. Oh, sorry for making you watch this silly drama. There are a lot of people in my grandpa's generation who think badly of the Empire. That's why he's saying the ambassador to the Empire, Sir Liud, is a spy. All the Imperials are lying scum. I will not be deceived. Infama. Large stripes of dyed cloth are being dried under the sun. Uh, tiki boom boom down. Where are we going? Can we? We cannot leave. Okay. We are going over here. Oh. It's a statue of a sea bream. Fishermen pray to the statue for a good catch. Lesser Celestial River has flooded over. How frightening! I can't stand natural catastrophes. One can't help but feel helpless against them. It's not only that, I feel like the flooding is a bad omen. I hope something even worse doesn't happen. In times like these, I can't help but drink. Oh no, what a miss. Looks like my route to Shiliak is blocked. It'd sure be nice if the water subsides soon. I can't swim through the rapids while carrying these bags. The Lesser Celestial River is flooded. As a result, you cannot pass through it to the castle town. King Lodicon of Castle Elnoth used to be called the White Flame. He did a lot of reckless things in his youth, but he's matured a great deal and has become a great king. If I was a little younger, I would definitely try to get to know him better. You kind of remind me of him in his younger days. Well, his reckless days, that is. <laughs> Whether business in this world is good or bad, it makes no difference whatsoever. How am I supposed to profess my love to my dear? Oh no, I'm not confident at all. Oh. 
don't have it. Oh, they say there's the yogurt. There's the yogurt. Um, I have a flower. Nope, that's not good. Sorry. I don't have anything yet. Oh, what a handsome young man. So much different from the men in this village. Make yourself at home, cutie. Ooh. I'm sick and tired of the men here. They're rough, blunt, and stink like fish. I guess I'll have to go to Shiliac to find myself a good man. The Empire already came to Sadal's suit. I heard an Imperial ship was in Perkad. That means they may come to this nation soon. Well, whatever happens, I don't really care. But the old folks don't like the Empire very much. To be honest, our generation doesn't worry too much about those kinds of things. We have King Latakhan on the throne and reliable knights standing guard. The Empire wouldn't dare start anything. For us, following customs is very important. We're putting all our strength together and going fishing. Forget about strangers bringing bad luck to the Lesser Celestial River f being flooded. The reality is we may not be able to feed ourselves soon. It's okay for now since we still have food in stock, but if the, if the catch is staying this bad, how am I supposed to feed my wife and kids? Yep, that is definitely a problem. Ooh, Mount Apple Wind. <laughs> Hello. They're dancing. Oh. <gasps> oh, a shortcake. Yummy. Ah, lady, please. I don't think there's gonna be anything over here to examine. Nope. Oh! Hi there. Well, well, you two are new around here, aren't you? I'm Anna, owner of this humble establishment. Did you come in on the liner today? Yeah. Then you must be from Sadal Sud. That's quite a trip. Welcome to Nashira. There isn't much to see here, but it's a great place to relax. Actually, we don't have time to relax. We've got some business to take care of in the city. It's kind of urgent. Oh, really? You're out of luck then. As you may have heard, the Lesser Celestial River is flooded. The road to the city has been cut off. The river rarely floods over. It's one of those freak things that hits once in a blue moon. If the road's cut off, maybe we could get there by boat. When does the next ship leave for the city? Hate to say this, but there's no regular ship to the city. You'll have to ask one of the fishermen to ferry you over. But it might not be easy. They don't like taking strangers on their ships. Besides, everyone's been pretty jumpy with the poor catch and all. Do you know anyone who would be willing to help us? We need to get to the capital as soon as possible. We'll pay for the ride, though we can't offer much. So you're in a hurry, huh? Let's see. You could ask Gibari. He, if anyone, might agree to help. Gibari? Where would we find him? He hasn't stopped by today. He should be along soon enough, though. Why don't you check back later? Or you could stick around and have a drink. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. We'll stop by later and see if he's here. Gibari hasn't showed up yet. He should be here by now. Okay. Hopefully this Gibari fellow will help us out. I still don't know if I should go talk to that Liyud guy. <laughs> Anyways, this is a good place to stop this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, I'll talk to Liyud and see what kind of person he is. And I don't know what we gotta do to run into Gibari and hope he gives us a ride. We'll see what happens. If you enjoyed this episode and exploring Nashida, give the episode a like, comment below your thoughts, and share with the video. Subscribe to this channel for more episodes into Bankitos. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Jenny!